hugs as a cure to intolerance. It's not a working remedy yet, just a social experiment by a Canadian group to raise awareness about Islamophobia in our society. Mustafa Maulas just stood on the busy streets of Toronto by, blindfolded with his arms outstretched and open. One by one, strangers approached the man to give him a hug. Joining us in the now from Ottawa is Azumi J. She's the organizer of this very interesting experiment. I have to say, was this the reaction that you expected? Uh, this was not the reaction that we expected. We didn't um, expect to receive so much positive um, uh, reactions and this much encouragement and support, but we're very happy to see uh, Canadians react this way to Islamophobia. Were there any negative reactions to this experiment? The only negative reactions that came out were after uh, the video started going viral. Um, unfortunately, some what we're trying to do is bridge the gaps, but there was some opposition from both ends, and it was sad to see that people still have this mentality against Muslims. What made you want to go and launch this experiment? Uh, due to the rise of Islamophobia, due to the hate crimes that's been happening around the world, and due to personal experience because of Islamophobia, it really moved us to try to uh, raise awareness, show people how we're made to feel in our own countries, in our own homes. And uh, an example of uh, what's going on as well, like what happened in Chapel Hill, um, that's the kind of stuff that we Muslims have to deal with on a daily basis, the harassment, and that made us want to raise awareness, show people uh, what we are made to feel, and as well as encourage people to think for themselves, not believe everything that they hear and see, and to go and try to learn about Islam uh, the right way instead of listening to man's word or, or the media. Azumi, was there a certain event or a moment that personally made you want to launch this? I mean, what have you experienced? Um, I've always dealt with uh, bullying and uh, harassment because of my ethnicity or my faith growing up, especially after 9-11 here in Canada. And uh, when I got to university, at Carleton's University, there was a, a competition called Carleton's Next Top Model. And I'm a public figure, so I wanted to encourage my viewers that wearing the hijab, you can do anything. It doesn't stop you from... Uh, chasing your dreams and I want to show the world that we are not oppressed. So out of the whole university, I made it to the top two finalists in the competition and some people got intimidated and they started harassing me, calling me a terrorist, telling me to go back to my own, uh, to my country when Canada is my home country, um, telling me I'm not a woman behind in, uh, hiding behind this scarf. And it got to the point that people came to my house to try to break in and uh, sent me death threats, rape threats, and that's when I've had enough. Terrific, just terrific. Um, you mentioned the change after 9-11. Now, events in Paris with Charlie Hebdo and in Ottawa, of course, last year involving Islamic extremists, how has that affected the situation? People are confused. They don't know what to believe because of what they see on the media. But then we do have encouragement from uh, and support from our Canadian friends. They don't believe what's happening and they don't think it's fair either. Like, for example, and I mentioned in a different interview, I've seen tweets by CNN and uh, Fox News where they would uh, they blamed the uh, Charlie Hedbo um, incident on Islamic terrorism or Muslim terrorists. They did not say it was this individual that has done it. They blamed a whole faith. And it's sad to see that um, that they would blame a whole faith and then you could, you'd see the support of all political leaders around the world gather for that. But when three innocent Muslims get shot in the head like what happened in Chapel Hill, there was nothing about the incident like that. There was no support from political leaders and it's, it's, it's really not fair to see something like that. They should blame it on the individual I had with the Chapel Hill uh, incident, um, unlike what they did for the uh, uh, Je suis Charlie campaign. All right, Asumi J, filmmaker, model, blogger, and Muslim activist with us in the now. Thank you, and good luck. Thank you.